Good day, grade 3 learners. Welcome to our lesson in Science 3, quarter 2, week 7, day 2. Our topic for today is Non-Living Things on Land and Their Importance. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Activating Prior Knowledge Many of the things around us such as water, sunlight, food, and shelter are also there when we need them. These things are both living things and non-living things. Lesson Purpose Intention In this lesson, you will identify non-living things in a land environment and describe how these help plants and animals living in the given environment survive. Lesson Language Practice The environment is everything around us. It includes all the living things like plants and animals, and non-living things like air, water, soil, and sunlight. In the Philippines, the environment is very diverse. It has many ecosystems like forests, mountains, rivers, oceans, and even cities where people live. Everybody will going to continue read the lesson language practice. Reading the key ideas stem. Activity 2. How do non-living things in a land environment help living things? Number 1. Divide the class into a small group. Number 2. Tell them that a farm is a land environment. Number 3. Ask, are there land environments in our school? Number 4. Explain that they will visit a land area and look for non-living things like rocks, soil, and sunlight. Number five, ask them to think about how these non-living things help the plants and animals living there. Number six, tell them they will do activity two to learn more about this. Seven, prepare the materials needed. Number eight, Talk about what they will learn before starting the activity. Number nine, have them work in groups. But write their answers in their own book. And number ten, let them ask questions before starting the activity. Developing understanding of the key ideas stem. Here are the materials needed. This activity is good for 20 minutes. Prepare the materials, join your group, describe how these things help plants and animals, write your description in your notebook. Here is the table that you're going to fill in later. Here 
here are the possible answers. Interview the school gardener if you have, or the person who will be responsible for taking care of the school garden. Ask the following question. If you, if time permits, how do rocks help plants grow? Why is soil important for plants and animals? How does sunlight help plants produce food? How does water help plants and animals survive? Then write all your answer in your own notebook. Here is table B, the interview question. Here is the possible answer. Depending understanding of the key idea stem. How do living things depends on non-living things. Living things depend on non-living things because non-living things provide what living things need to survive. For example, plants need sunlight, water, air, and soil to grow and make food. Animals need water to drink, air to breathe, and places like soil or rocks for shelter and protection. Non-living things create the environment or habitat where plants and animals live. Number two, how do non-living things in a land environment help plants and animals survive? In a land environment, non-living things help plants and animals survive by giving them important resources. Sunlight helps Plants make food through photosynthesis. Water keeps plants hydrated and animals alive. Soil gives plants nutrients and a place to anchor their roots. Rocks and soil provide shelter and protection for small animals. In this way, non-living things support the life of plants and animals by making the environment suitable for them to grow, eat, and live safely. Making Generalization and Obstruction Non-living things in a land environment help plants and animals survive by providing sunlight, which plants use to make their food through photosynthesis, supplying water that plants need to grow and animals need to drink to stay alive, Offering soil that holds nutrients and anchor the roots of plants, which also serves as a home for small creatures. Creating shelter and protection for animals through rocks and soil formation, regulating temperature and air quality that enable both plants and animals to live comfortably. Supporting nutrient cycles that recycle important elements needed for growth and survival. These non-living things form the foundation of the environment, making it possible for plants and animals to thrive and maintain a balanced ecosystem. Evaluating Learning Below is an illustration of a farm. It is an environment for plants and animals.
Number one, looking at the farm, what living things and non-living things do you see on a farm? Number two, based on your interview, how do non-living things help plants and animals survive in the farm environment? Here are the correct answers. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!